Okay, so this is how to install your Konica device onto your PC to enable you to print. Now, the first thing you need to know is the IP address of the printer you want to install. Um, that's found on the device itself under the utility menu under device information. Now, once you have the IP address, the next thing you need to do is download the printer driver software. Um, so the best thing to do is go to Google and type in Konica Download Center and you'll see the top result should be the Download Center from Konica and you can search your product from here. Now I'm going to use a C258 as an example so just enter that in and it should come up with the list of drivers if you click drivers and expand that Ignore where it says automatic driver installer. We need to scroll down until it says printer driver. And we're after the PCL6, the latest PCL6 driver. And just check that it's not a special driver. And then click the download link. And scroll down until you see the checkbox that says accept license agreement. Tick that and you need to click the zip file not the text file just download the zip file wait for that to download click that and then come up to the top to the compressed folder tools and click extract all okay so uncheck where it says show extracted files when complete and then browse we're going to find the desktop because that's the easiest way to find it afterwards. So select folder and then click extract. Now once that's done you can close these windows and you'll see on the desktop the files you just extracted. Now the next step is to go down to your start menu and just type control to bring up the control panel app. Click on that and it will look something like this. It may look slightly different but we're after devices and printers. So we click that and all your printers and devices will be listed here. We need to add a printer at the top. Now it will try and search for your device. Just ignore that and click the link at the bottom that says the printer that I want isn't listed. And then it'll give you some more options and you need to click the bottom one, add a local printer or network printer with manual settings. We'll then need to point it somewhere. So this is where your IP address comes in. We need to create a new port and drop it down to standard TCP IP port. Type in the IP address. My printer is 192.168.1.200. And then uncheck the box that says query the printer. Um, we don't want to do that. We want to select the uh, the software ourselves, so click next and it's just going to detect the port it might take a little while and then on this next window just click next and what we want to do here is browse to the driver that we downloaded so click have disk and then click the browse button and we need to go to the desktop where we left it and go inside the folder and there will be one file to double click and then click OK. Now here it's going to ask you which series of printer you've uh, installed. Uh, I've installed the 368 series so I'm going to select that and click Next. Okay, and you can name the printer, whatever you want to name it. 
I'm going to name mine Color Printer. And then we can click Next. Now at this point it may pop up with a message just asking you to confirm you want to install this. Just click Yes. Um, and then you'll see that you've got the option to print a test page uh, and to set the printer as your default printer, which I'm doing. I'm going to click Finish. And you'll see that a new icon has appeared with a green tick. And that's your default printer installed. Now, there is one thing to bear in mind. If you right click and choose Printer Properties, you will see under the Advanced tab, the Printing Defaults button. Now, some of the manufacturer's defaults may not be to your liking. For example, um, they have two-sided selected as default. Now, I always change that to one-sided. Uh, go through uh, all the options and see what applies to you and what you would like as your defaults. Then click Apply and OK once they're all set. And you are done.